So welcome back. I'm going to continue. Uh, I didn't get much uh, about uh, links to the uh, Facebook page. I was expected, but uh, maybe I will. Maybe you are working on it, so I get later. I can well show you now some examples of a nice, nice uh, uh, social media accounts. Like uh, I, I know these are all uh, like my uh, my my former students. Like uh, this uh, lady who was last year my student is selling uh, Argentinian sausages, but by uh, by like. Uh, Facebook and Instagram and so on. Then I have like uh, also 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 here one one who is um, who is very interesting because she's uh, taking a part of of this uh, this. Uh, is this competition also so part of Omnia's team? Uh, Sompit is selling uh, her cakes and other food she make in home to the customers, and she has very nice uh, Instagram and also Facebook pages. Here is uh, her Instagram page, like about her cakes what she's been doing and selling. And uh, you can see that this is quite interesting page for, for somebody who wants to buy a cake in, in like in Espo. So now I, now I have this idea that I ask uh, Sompit to comment a little bit uh, how, how she think that is this being useful to have uh, this uh, internet uh, and, and social media accounts for selling cakes? And has it been hard to build up these, these pages? Sompit, will you comment a little bit? OK. Well, that's good that you hear me anyway. So, so then I'm going to uh, continue with a presentation. If if well, I see Sompit. Sompit, will you open your uh, microphone and ask her to my question? Microphone. I don't know. I was suddenly locked out. Sorry. Now I'm come back. Oh, yes, I didn't hear anything I, just now. I, I was I, now I'm come back. I I saw uh, your your Instagram page yeah. where are you selling your cakes? Now yes. Just uh, want that you like uh, like uh, comments uh, how useful you see that accounts how you benefited from uh, your pages? Have you got customers? Has it been a, a very uh, a lot lot of work to build up these things? Uh, how you see this comment a little bit because you have this experience uh well it's quite easy to set up and uh, uh customer i don't get from instagram but i i get the customer by uh when one person they bought the thing for me and then they will tell their friends 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 coming to me like that but i have instagram and facebook page uh, to show my product and my design and my um, uh, thing, what I have been selling there, for example, uh, that they can see how design will be. So that, that's how I get. Uh, of course, I had to share uh, uh, to friends and people who they know, but uh, direct from the uh, order from the 
um, customer. Not so much, actually. There, there was some, but not, not so much. Mainly to show a uh, product, what I'm selling. And uh, I would say that um, Facebook, it will be really helpful because, uh, in my opinion, Instagram, when I try to link between Facebook and Instagram, when I try to make a video, uh, Instagram not allow me to have a long video to present my my cake uh, decoration. Sometimes on my on my page, uh, sometimes I am uh, showing people how to decorate the cake. Sometimes uh, I would show people uh, how the um, the the recipe and what it come and how to uh sharing so that that instagram doesn't allow me doesn't allow me for the long video for example if it's more than one minute two minutes that doesn't allow me so i would say facebook is the best but the instagram will show the photo the picture what i have and uh or writing menu and um you know to show the products that's the best and uh that that Facebook is 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 good in my opinion. Much better, easy to to create and and people can see easily because we can tag on. Of course, Instagram as well. Maybe I don't know how to use Instagram. I get used to Facebook. That also can be. I'm not expert in the social media, but I just use that as a people can see my product, what I'm selling there. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for your comments. What. Well, and uh, uh, I have uh, noticed that uh, that in in this uh, like in social media uh, everything is you you have qu quite short short time. It's about like eight or nine sec seconds. You have time to pay uh, attention of the people. It's it's getting shorter all the time. That so uh, videos should not be too long in uh, any place because it's it's good that. They are quite very compact, mm. so so it's like a, uh, then you have to pay attention that if you if you keep uh, long lectures like I'm doing here, everybody yes. needs to change the channel and go to the <laughs> next pages. So uh, so uh, uh, so it's it's a short time. It's better make short videos, and I I think that it's good that. You have found your own channel, and and you we can always practice to make different things. But I I like your cakes anyway, and thank you for the, your comments. Thank you very much. <laughs> so that was that was good example for you that it's possible to do a lot of things. So now I uh, uh, change the subject a little bit, not much, but I I start uh, another. Uh, Another uh, like uh, slide so here. When I get it open, it takes a little bit time. Yes. Do you see it now? Yes. Good. Then we are talking about how you actually write a business plan about the pop up event. So uh, first is important to understand what is a business plan. It's a written plan uh, about how you build up your business. Usually it's plan to achieve your financial and financial and economical goals uh, but as well it is part of the marketing you are setting your business goals and and uh, uh, both both like verbally and numerally uh, numbers and and verbally both so uh, you can present uh, that as a mode of video or, or or like in written powerpoint slides or whatever but the uh, idea that you are 
uh, you are like uh, making that kind of plan in this project and you are attacking to that uh, connecting that to your uh, to your like uh, uh, portfolio i mean that block so uh, so this is one thing you should now for for uh, or of course you you just start to do it now you you don't make it like finish in in this week because there are many things you add it late add to it later when when you are planning a business and uh, the first thing you you have to make is like business idea we can also call it basic concept or there is only uh, traditionally it is wise to start with like segmentation and selecting the target group of your business there are uh, demographic issues issues demographia is statistical like uh, uh, population science like statistical statistical facts like age gender education nationality religion and social and cultural things and uh, and these are like uh, you can classify people with these these things so uh, uh also you take uh, take account uh, softer factors like lifestyle and hobbies and preferences and common interests and then you identify these things and shows from your segment you try to achieve and then what 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 your actual product product or service is finally and how you are going to get it and and if you can combine all these three things uh to the one sentence it's it's going to be your basic pain basics concept like uh, to whom are you targeting what are you going to make and how to do it that's just short description of your action i recommend that you choose your target group first and sometimes it's even uh, easier to you can even uh, describe a person uh, who you try to achieve to your customer for for a pop up pop up restaurant for example this is my example our pop up restaurant is planned for 17 year or 17 year old girl named lisa she's vegan and she's very concerned about climate climate change and she studies in lukio and her favorite artist is Billy Eilish, and her another idol is Greta Thunberg. She had decided that she will never get married and never make children and never buy any car in her life. So like this, you can describe an imaginary person, but uh, of course uh, you have to uh, have understanding that there exists this kind of a people in a place where are you going to do your uh, pop-up restaurant. Idea is that you found a good customer segment uh, that also brings the others. So describe first one. And uh, in business like uh, everything for everybody type of strategy is not working it's like uh, targeting your business more more specifically it's more credible way to uh, to plan your business uh, then then why are you unique unique uh, have you some new combination or some new method of serving or you have to have something uh, why the customer pay attention specially to your product 
in economics, we are talking about the different differentiation and uh, reverentiation. Horrible word. You can also bring some new features to on ex existing uh, product or service, but somehow you have to be different. Uh, then, uh, then start to plan actual things. I don't go to receipts and menus at all because these are the topics of the next week workshop, workshop that run by Sami and Hermani from Wamia. But uh, um, your product needs to meet your business idea and target group. And we have our general themes here like locality, loss minimization, diets, plant-based food, sustainable gastronomy, and, and that that you that have to be somehow part of your plans and make a complete list of all ingredients you need, of course. So in uh, in this case, it's important, of course, all these portion cards are, uh, are important in, in when you are uh, building a restaurant. And that that's also team of Bamia next week. Uh, but I can tell that portion card is a professional way to uh, plan your actual, actual food items. You calculate cost of all your portions, so you can manage your food production in your restaurant. So um, there will be a guidance of that in, in next week. I, I'm sure about it. So. Um, so to build up your post pop up restaurant, you need, of course, everything you need list of everything. So uh, in this case, it's good that you negotiate with your teacher what is locally possible to do and what what is not, but uh, make an exact list of everything like cutlery, plates, tools, remembering food hygiene, like uh, hazard analysis, critical points, things. Uh, then uh, important part of business plan is pricing. Uh, uh, your price here now is given, so you cannot change that too much, so, but you always can count count the costs like anyway uh, economical evaluation and counting is important when you are making a real world business plan because your business plan is uh, like a paper you have to have when you are go going to uh, get some financing for your business so potential uh, funders will first ask this paper your business plan. You also can get some money from from like like uh, like uh, like in Finland from some some uh, uh, like TE uh, Toimisto, which is like uh, uh, you can get some benefit from society when you are starting to business. You have to have this business plan to show first uh, and. Uh, potential funders will really ask this paper because they they want to see that you have some somehow counted that your plan your restaurant will be profitable. So price your product product is not not thing you can do now, but you always la uh, count the co cost what everything will will. Take what what money um, amount of money and everything will take, and you can count afterwards was it uh, profitable or not. So uh, there's a term like margin margin is price of your product minus all the costs like raw material and expensive expenses expenses. Um, then this whole marketing whole marketing plan is is part of your business plan also like uh, 
think about what what your pop-up restaurant will look like, all the layout, clothing, etc. How to bring your story behind the food in in a pop-up restaurant? Of course, all these food photos, stories on social media, these are all part of your great marketing plan. And remember uh, creativity. Despite given instructions to create business plan of your pop-up event, don't get stuck to some ready models. Creativity is the key thing. Like business plan is economical plan, but also the way to bring out your story. Try to do something new and different. Uh, like uh, many of my students, because I, I, I teach a much adult immigrants, they have told me that they are going to establish the own restaurant in the future. And that's a good good plan, but I always tell, him, tell them that you have to to choice to be either, either based on your field inside that restaurant type, or then, <clears throat> then you have to make something totally new to su success. Uh, uh, for example, like a couple of de decades ago in, in my hometown, uh, I, I'm from Tampere, there, there, is a, there was one kebab restaurant, one Egypt, Egyptian guy named uh, Abu Fuad formed a kebab restaurant. And I was like a teenager. We went uh, to the town and, well, we, it was very uh, exotic and uh, new thing, and there were always big line uh, in in that restaurant, and it was really I, I believe that it was really profitable in that times. But if you go to Tampere now, and and there there was probably thirty to fifty different kebab restaurants around the town. So so you. <laughs> They have to really, uh, they have to be really good in their field or really profitable. How can they they be profitable? There are so hard competitions. So, so like uh, you, it's important where you put your restaurant. Of course, in the restaurant business, but this uh, this your style and and what kind of restaurant you have. It's it's important. So um, you. Cre try to create something new. New, it's a it's a important thing. So, uh, and well, you can get much more material about the business plan making or 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 like uh, these personal personal branding branding and marketing things from from our uh, our, our website like project page site in, in internet. So if you go to this 360 tingling photos inside that that uh, 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 personal branding and marketing, uh, then then there are letters from A to B. I don't remember how many, but there are a lot of plenty of material videos you can get get much more information also. So I don't go too far for that today. Uh, then um, some things about that planning the virtual pop up dining event. You already uh, got these big lines about pop up contest condition contention, uh, competition, uh, instruction, and, uh, <clears throat> but some, some more. Make yourself visible, that's the important thing. So uh, handle your communication before and during the event. Uh, I tell you later about uh, uh, event uh, poster. Uh, you have to make advertisement poster for for this event. Uh, 
uh, and take take advantage of your visibility on social media. That's that's an important thing. At the first, it's useful to do some brainstorming, and afterwards select which way which which, which way is your way. So uh, come up here with your concept. Think about your team, how you focus. Have you had some specific set of ingredients or and keep a list of disease ingredients and event ideas. So uh, then pick up the things that you sound interesting and drive them out as a, then you are narrowing down the, your event concept. That's the way to go ahead. Uh, now, I think that in this situation, you can choose a place to do this actual event, but, but you m make your plans like uh, that is possible, because I don't see it sensible to uh, that we limit your imagination at this stage of planning. So uh, you can do the planning for the normal situation without without international pandemic so um, then we see later what can we do and what we can't in april april we we, we see when it, it's done for this real real event so there are some examples of a pop-up uh, venues uh, of uh, what we have done with our students in Espo, uh, most of them in, in some shopping centers. And they have been quite good places to practice things with students. Uh, do your promotion in social media with your personal way. And uh, like, uh, Now you can start to think what kind of, how you start. You, you can make like a teaser to social media that, that there's coming incredible event, pop-up event and so on. So you can start to plan and do this without knowing what you are actually over there, but you can make the first steps of marketing. Now, so uh, something about visual storytelling, like I told before that uh, uh, nowadays everything is very visual and also very fast in social media, uh, but this storytelling is uh, like a solid part of marketing today. Uh, and that visual storytelling telling means the use of graphics and images and pictures and videos to just engage uh, with potential uh, customer customers. Um, uh, they, these stories want to drive emotions and, and motivate audience to, uh, to action. So, if you think about some masters of visual storytelling, there are big brands, you know, Coca-Cola and Red Bull, Red Bull uh, with uh, their videos and pictures are full of power and advent adventure and so on. And they are keeping this great story of this brand all the time. But we don't have this much resources, they st still probably have major resources in, in these companies, but that, that, that's how a photo story it's, is working in marketing. Then how to create a social media strategy to your upcoming event. So, First, think your goal line. So, uh, 
these are where you concentrate. In, in, in social media, there are a lot of useful information, meters, analytics, etc. You can see if your marketing is noticed or not. It never means if somebody follows your your sites that that uh, all these viewers will come to your restaurant, but you can meter your visibility, and there are good tools in 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 these accounts and different platforms. Those people who follow your in social media are extremely important because those are persons who take your message message forward uh, and there's a word engagement it is a key, key issue to try to engage your likers to spread the message uh, and these analytics and 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 you can get a much information from these social networks like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, uh, anal analytics. There are even too much information for, for just like like small things, but and like we are doing. So um, you see who your followers are, uh, and you get answers to uh, questions like who, what, where, and then. There are more these analytic tools if you set up business accounts for social media. These are usually free and you get more features to your account in business side. And these are quite easy. You go to settings and follow. I have some videos, I link them to a, to a Facebook page, how to open uh, business, Instagram business and Facebook business, business accounts. So, uh, Instagram is one example, how to make, uh, make Instagram marketing plan for, for our event or your event if you decide to choose this channel. Uh, your Instagram business profile should be nothing like your personal. Uh, it's good that uh, it's best if you don't appear there too much. Really, uh, you have to give your face, but it's not not about you. It's uh, it's about uh, story of your brand so uh, uh instagram business bio bio it's it's like the, your name and short interaction in in the beginning of, of of instagram like biography in your instagram profile that should be prompt uh, should prompt the customer into taking action while 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 showcasing the personality of the company at the same time, there are, it's limited. There are 150 marks or something in, in that bio too. So it has to be very, very short and efficient. Uh, interesting, it has to be in, interesting and, and informative at the same time. Uh, you should be able to hook the followers and engage them with that bio. Uh, when somebody makes a Google search, uh, Googling in the bio is one important thing that appears. So, uh, so you have to think how you put your words in, in, in that bio. It's also important to notice that in uh, uh, social media can really steal a lot of your time. So, so plan your marketing content, set your goals, and consider up an amount of time you must uh, spend with with Instagram. 
uh, then uh, plan your publishing. It, it, it's you you time when you going to publish when you do your post and everything. It's important to plan before beforehand. That was uh, about it, and now I have a task again. I'll show it to you. So, uh, I think you can see that uh, now every team makes short brainstorming about customer segmentation. Try to imagine what different customer groups you could reach potentially to your pop-up restaurant. You can make some imaginary persons like my example girl named Lisa. Uh, it was kind of combination of my children. Well, if that is easier in that way to plan things. So uh, list the groups of persons to your face to our, our Facebook group. So you can spend for this about uh, 50 minutes, and when we when we continue, I want to get some answer from you also. So 15 minutes teamwork uh, with the team. Thank you. <laughs>